Okay, he's marked as a dreamer. Large wrapped corpus meat. Lovely. Don't want that. Nobody wants that. Steel flame sword. More guys with Dwemer stuff. We'll take the light stuff. The boots, yeah, they weigh a little too much. Plus, we're already a little bit high on our encumbrance. Is that a bone walker? Whoops. I think that was a bone walker. Oh. Okay, I resist that homeboy. Okay, this guy's tough. Let's see if we can uh, stun him. something behind me too. Okay, they didn't hurt me too bad. That's where we came from. Lots of different directions to go in here, huh? Holy shit, dude, slow the fuck down. Oh no. He got my strength, too. Holy shit! <clears throat> <clears throat> 
We are not in a good spot right now. Um, all right, so let me, where's our regular restore health? What do I have to restore strength? Okay, it's 10 at a time, and I think we're like close to 90. I was doing a lot more damage. Um, I mean, that thing is a 6 to 15. This is a 9 to 14. Why would this be doing more damage to them? Hmm. But I'm not like... Oh, no, it's just because I increased my strength. Duh. Don't be dumb, Ben. Alright. Just because I was putting my strength back. That's why. Um, okay. Did not like that. I think this might be looping back the other side of where we were at before. Okay, this guy actually has armor. Is that a Daedra? Oh. That's like one of the best short swords in this entire game. We just got an upgrade. <laughs> we just got an upgrade. There's our new sword, baby. Should have brought more of these hammers, huh? Hold on, let's see what's low. Okay, we just got ourselves an upgrade. We're going to change this to the Daedric Short Sword. How much does that weigh? Isn't Daedric stuff super heavy? 24. It's pretty heavy. where I came from. Um, let's see. Night Eye, that's what I'm looking for. Gosh, that's so much better. It's so much better. So gross. So that's a Dunmer that basically was turned into an Ash Zombie, and then they have these things grow out of their freaking faces. Like, that's just his hollowed out head right there. It's disgusting. Creatures in this game are next level, man.
Ha! Take that. Yeah, we don't want any corpus meat, that's for damn sure. Yeah, see, that's an ash zombie right there. That's the head hollowed out before the worm starts coming out of it. Ugh. They're disgusting. But I love the designs, man. They're so freaking creepy in this game. This place is huge. Ugh. Oh, I'm gonna love this new sword. I'm gonna love this new sword. Let me tell you. I think we're finding the people who were sent here, huh? Getting our illusion up. All right, and this is where it's meeting back up. You can see on the map up there. Right there. Looks like the scamp came back, huh? We'll just leave him. Might have to fight him again on the way out, though. This dungeon's actually uh, proven itself to be pretty tough. We run into a couple of fights that were uh, difficult for us to get through. again. Arrows are becoming an issue. Is this the guy that can de-strengthen us, or was it the other mage that we fought? That I do not know. Okay, the corpus guy is pretty slow. Let's fight you first. Endurance is currently being hit by probably this. Blackheart Blight. 
Um, let me quickly see if I have something to get rid of this. Is this a common disease? No, it should be a blight disease. Duh. You know, it says blight in the freaking name, um, which I don't have magic for. I don't even know if there is a cure blight disease spell, but if there is, we haven't found it yet. We need to. Hmm. Okay. I should have a, uh... Oh, jeez, come on. There we go. Cool. So our agility is still down, but we'll have to go to an altar for that. At least now our endurance isn't so shot. Spear, man. See how much that thing is worth? Freaking awesome. Fair enough. Let's get a night eye. Huh. Hi, buddy. Okay, I don't think I'm going to be able to loot him. <laughs> it's not happening. Those guys can actually hurt. Okay, that's the, probably the last one of those I can get until I can rest. Gotta kill all the enemies that are near us. had a weapon or something that there we go reduces strength okay I think I remember that room actually yeah, I think that's the guy we might be looking for I oh yep Okay, Dagoth Garrus. The Sixth House greets you, Lord Nerevar, or Analog Vernacular as you call yourself. I am known as Dagoth Garrus, priest of the Ilunibi Shrine, and minister to Sixth House servants. My lord, Dagoth Ur, has informed me of your coming. I wish that this time you would come to honor your lord's friendship, not to betray it. Lord's friendship? 
Lord Dagath gives me these words to say to you, so that you may give them thought. Once we were friends and brothers, Lord Nerevar. In peace and in war, yet beneath Red Mountain, you struck me down as I guarded the treasure you bound me by oath to defend. But remembering our old friendship, I would forgive you and raise you high in my service. My Lord Dagath bids you come to Red Mountain for the friendship and honor that once you shared. He would grant you counsel and power if only you would pledge that friendship anew. I am not your Lord Dagath, yet I, too, would say to you, do you come with weapons to strike me down, or would you put away your weapon and join me in, in friendship? Dagath Ur. Dagath Ur is the awakened lord of the Sixth House. Come to, come to cast down false gods, drive foreigners from the land, and restore the ancient glory of Morrowind. Um, which is basically the same description that we have of what the Nerevar is supposed to do, which is funny. He bid you come to Red Mountain for the friendship and honor that once you shared. He would grant you counsel and power if only you would pledge that friendship anew. The path to Red Mountain is long and filled with danger, but if you are worthy, you will find their wisdom. A firm friend and all the power you need to set the world aright. Sixth House? The Sixth House was not dead, but only sleeping. Now it wakes from its long dream, and with the Lord Dagath Or, it comes forth to free Morrowind of foreign rulers and divine pretenders. When the land is swept clean of false friends and greedy thieves, the children of Veloth will build anew a garden of plenty in the blighted wasteland. The shrine? Oh, it's just a small, quiet retreat for Six House servants, a place to contemplate and grow strong and wise in Lord Dagath's ways. Here we share the sacraments of flesh and blood, and dream the dream of our Lord. This and other lesser shrines are hidden from prying eyes throughout the land. But the greatest shrines of Six House servants lie beneath Red Mountain in the citadels of our lord and his close kin. Okay, the servants. Forgive the rude welcome, but until you have declared for us, we must treat you as our enemy. The sleepers and dreamers are newly come to Lord Dagath, and not yet blessed with his power, but the children of his flesh. They are deep in the heart of his mis mysteries. Their bodies swell to contain his glory and to yield the rich sacraments of our lord's feasts. And we are the least of his servants, for ash poets, ascendant, ascended sleepers, and ash vampires stand high above us in the Lord's bountiful grace. Our enemy. Lord Dagath would far rather have you as a friend than as an enemy, but until you submit to him, six house servants will treat you as an enemy and try to destroy you. If you wish to be our friend, first you must go to Lord Dagath in the citadel on Red Mountain and make your submission. Lord's friendship? Lord Dagath gives me these words. Oh, we already saw that. Okay. Cool. Goodbye. All right, let's quickly, I want to get, um, let's do a Restore Magicka, and if we have, like, a cheap Restore Health. And he goes down. But with his dying breath, Dagath Gera smiles and curses you. Even, if, even as my master wills, you shall come to him in his flesh and of his flesh. We have just contracted corpus disease. We have Wither, um, which is taking points away from many of our different stats. So that's fun. Um, yeah, we have corpus disease, which, um, if you don't remember, is it incurable. Message from Dagafer. Lord Nerevar Indoril Hai Razdanya, my lord, friend, and companion. Once we were friends and brothers, Lord Nerevar, in peace and in war, no houseman ever served you better or more faithfully. Much that I did was at your command, at great cost to myself and my honor. Yet beneath Red Mountain you struck me down as I guarded the treasure you bound me by oath to defend. It was a cruel blow, a bitter betrayal, to be felled by your hand. But remembering our old friendship, friendship, I would forgive you and raise you high in my service. The Sixth House was not dead, but only sleeping. Now we wake from our long dream, coming forth to free Morrowind of foreign rulers and divine pretenders. When the land is swept clean of false friends and greedy thieves, the children of Veloth will build anew a garden of plenty in this blighted wasteland. 
Come to Red Mountain, old friend, for the fellowship and honor that once we shared. I would grant you counsel and power if only you would pledge that friendship anew. The path to Red Mountain is long and filled with danger, but if you are worthy, you will find their wisdom, a firm friend, and all the power you need to set the world aright. As ever, your respectful servant and loyal friend, Lord Vorin Dagath, Dagath Ur. Okay, well, we've just contracted a disease that will um, eventually turn us into one of those zombies and is incurable. Welcome to our new life. Okay, a silver staff. Armor, hammer. We should probably check on our stuff real quick. We don't have, uh... Sixth house bell hammer. Huh, interesting. Wow, it weighs a lot. It's worth 5,000 though. I want it. At the same time, what am I willing to drop for it? Why am I holding some of this stuff? I don't need the spiked club. I don't need you. Those are worth 360, 15 each. Yes, more glass armor. One more piece to our, our light armor set. Okay, we don't need those. Okay, we now have corpus disease. Okay, on our way out, we'll make sure that we explored everywhere that we needed to here. go in this direction. Okay, it looks like it just loops around, so we're good there. I think we're good. You know, other than contracting corpus disease. Which means nobody's ever going to want to talk to us. Game over, man. Game over.
Okay, big long cavern. Looks like it's uh, connecting back to somewhere else that we've been. I think, yep, that's our way out. That is our way out. Okay, cool. So, what do we need to do here? We need to... Well, we need to go home and put a bunch of stuff away. And then we probably need to go and talk to Chaos. See if he can let us know anything about how we might be able to help ourselves here. So let's see, I have killed Dagoth Garrus as the Spy Master Order, but with his dying breath, Dagoth Garrus pronounced a curse on me and now I have the Corpus Disease. He said I would come to Dagoth Ur, in his flesh and of his flesh. I don't feel any different, but the marks of the disease are plain on my face. I'll have to return and report to the Spy Master on the, uh, on the Sixth House base, and hope he knows of some way to cure this disease. Alright. So. Um. Yeah, let's go ahead and try and find our way back. Now, we may have to manually go there. I don't know if I can travel using boats or any other kind of travel because people won't want to talk to me. So, let's just do what we can. Let's get... Let's use Al Alm Civi's inter intervention. Oh my gosh, did this take us all the way to Balmora? It certainly did. Oh, I can't believe that it was th the closest place was Balmora. That's so good. That's so good. Couldn't have hoped for a better outcome on that one. So let's see. Hey, get away from me. You've got corpus disease. You can't get cured of corpus disease. Get away. Yeah, that's a valid response. So yeah, people want nothing to do with me. Are you here to discuss your orders? Or is there something else you want? With Dagoth Garrus dead, the Sixth House Shrine is no longer a threat. You're more, you've more than earned a promotion to the rank of Traveler. I'm very worried that you have corpus disease, but I have some good news in that department. Do you now? I canvassed my informants for possible treatments just in case you contracted the disease during your mission. I learned from Fast Eddie that your best chance of getting cured is Divith Fear. We've met Divith Fear. <laughs> An ancient Telvanni wizard who runs a corpusarium for victims of the disease. Here, take this Dwemer artifact and a thousand drakes and go to tell Fear. Divith Fear will like the Dwemer artifact. A gift may sweeten his disposition. The gold is for expenses and here's a couple of levitation potions. I hear you'll need them in Telvani Towers, because wizards don't use stairs. So get moving and get that corpus disease cured. Then hurry back. I think I know how to get the Lost Prophecies Navani Mesa asked for. Okay. You have corpus disease. It's a rare disease that usually drives victims mad and causes terrible, deformed growths on the body. I don't know much about it. I'll check my informants and see how to cure it. In the meantime, we can discuss your orders. Okay, we already know what, where Telfir is. It's Divith Fear's tower in the southwest of Sadrith Moor on an island. Let me mark it on your map. There's a dock, but no boat service, so you must water walk or swim from Sadrith Mora. Use the guild guide service of the Balmora Mages Guild to reach Sadrith Mora. Will they actually let me use the service? Alright. I mean, I'll try. I'll try. Do I'm an artifact? Fast Eddie says Divith Fir collects Dwemer artifacts. Yes, I know it's treason to trade in Dwemer artifacts, but don't worry about it. I'm a big shot Imperial spy master, remember? And yes, it's worth a fortune, but you're worth it. The cash is for expenses and just in case. Good luck. Okay, who's Fast Eddie? Ed Themen, also Fast Eddie. 
Uh, also, Eddie the Rat is a rare commodity, a former Telvanni wizard who has gone Imperial and joined the Mages Guild. Colorful but unreliable character, but here is an invaluable source of inside information on Great House Telvanni. He has a small house here in Balmora. Okay, cool. Keep your distance, or... Oh, he just, he gave me an artifact that weighs too much. Where do these keep on coming from? I'm not picking them up. Maybe when I dispose of bodies, it picks up everything for some reason. Um, can I just fortify maybe for a second? Do I have a fortify strength? No, not there. Um, let's see. Don't I have, like, a feather that I might be able to use as well? It's probably not enough. Two over, huh? That must be the artifact, so I don't want to get rid of that. Just gotta get to my house. I'll drop some of this stuff off. Ahead. Go away, deceased creature. I'm gonna be just short, aren't I? Ah! Oh my gosh, I can almost reach it. It's fine. You wake, you hear something, and sense the presence of another nearby. Okay. Definitely going to be selling some of that stuff. Ooh, that one's really good. 1 to 50 for 10 seconds? In 20 feet. I wonder if that'll hurt me too, though. Might.
I'm not going to be able to do any selling for a while, so I just need to offload all of my extra stuff. Ugh, I should not have that. I think when I dispose of corpse, it, for whatever reason, picks everything up, which I didn't want it to do, but it did, I think, so. It is what it is. Okay. Okay, what's nearby? Okay, so let's see. If I dispose of the corpse, yep, it puts it in my inventory. Don't love that. All right. All right, so we've got boots and greaves now of glass. Those two, and we'll do int. Oh man, it's 82, huh? Wasn't there something that's like costs 83? What was it that costs 83? Shadow Mask. That's what I've been trying to work my way towards, is being able to cast my own chameleons that are like a decent amount of chameleon. One of these days, one of these days. On our next level up, I might try to get a better bonus in that, so that we can just, like, overshoot that a little bit. I'd like to give a very special shout out to my patron supporters, Darren York, ZTD, Seventh Son, Ivan K, Len, HLLJ, Knife Namase, Caleb Adkins, and Jordan and Emily Hill. If you would also like to join this tier or any others, check out my memberships or my Patreon in the description down below.